Hey YouTube friends. So I realized that I have not shown you any of my rocks or minerals and crystals and all of these fun things in a really long time. <laughs> and I have a lot of them. So I'm going to show you some today. I'm going to go through that cabinet you may or may not remember if you don't go look at past videos because I'm not moving my stuff right now. But I'm going to do this in three segments just because I don't want the videos to be super long and bore people who don't want to watch them. So I'm going to do two rows of my cabinet at a time basically and we should be a lot better. I hope, I hope you will be able to see the lighting of some of these things because they're absolutely gorgeous but usually it's gorgeous looking into the light which you guys cannot. So I'm sorry. But I'm gonna get right into it. So first one is orange calcite. I'm also gonna plug several different like stores and things that I buy from online so I will tell you where I got these from if I remember where they came from. And I will tell you if I don't remember. Um, this one I know I got from Witch on the Rocks. She has some really cool stuff sometimes especially at like pretty low prices for things like rough just kind of random assortment type deals. This was a great piece of orange calcite that is so orange I literally I'm half convinced that it's a piece of orange and I want to eat it. Like, <laughs> it just looks delicious. Um, and that's something else you're going to hear me say a lot in these videos. When I really like the energy from something, and I especially like, I get that feeling from colors in general, but sometimes just rocks in general, um, I, my desire is to like bite it and eat it. I don't, there is no good reason for that, but that is like my natural instinct is, oh my gosh, I, that's so good. Like, I just want to eat it. And I don't, obviously, but that's like my first reaction, so you've learned more about me today than you probably ever wanted to, but anyway. Um, this is an awesome piece of fluorite that I have. I got this at a mineral show, the only mineral show I've ever been to, which was in St. Charles like sometime this past summer. I did mention that in that other video, I think, but this is such a cool piece. And it has just barely kind of this lavender tinge to this piece, but I want to get like really close in this you can really see yeah look at that that's amazing I love this piece it this is like the one that I'm gonna set somewhere on a table someday and just be like look at it cuz it's awesome aquamarine this is another rock that most people I don't think really like and to me like my I wanna bite it like makes me think of like really nice limeades from Sonic it just looks so tasty why do I have that urge? I don't understand myself. Anyway, copper. Really cool piece of copper. I like this piece in particular because it's very sort of like freeform awesomeness and it looks like something that you got from the bottom of a shipwreck like at the bottom of the ocean. That's what I think of anyway. So everybody knows I'm not strange at all though. Um, moonstone. This is a rough piece of moonstone. Most of the moonstone I've ever seen has not been, like it was nice and polished and tiny and whatever. I was shocked when I saw this because it's just really cool and very different. Like moonstone to me usually makes me think of like a full moon. This has a very like crone dark moon kind of energy to it. So I just thought this was really cool. And I really like this surface in particular and I'm not sure why, but it's my favorite angle. This is one of my all time favorites that I have. This is tourmaline in quartz. It is super awesome. I think this side, yeah, you can see that pretty good. I just think that that's really, really cool. I got that one at the mineral show. I think I got this one at the rock shop here in town. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. This is aragonite. I've never, like, I've seen lots of pieces of aragonite, like, when I was a geology student, and I never saw one like this, like, when I was in the department, so... <laughs> This was really shocking when I saw it. It seriously looks like something just exploded and got frozen in place. Like, there's all of these little things just radiating out of it. Like, tubes of crystals, basically. Part of me wants to see what they would have looked like if they had not been, like, all nice and polished and cut off, because it probably would have been, like, some kind of weird, like, sea urchin-looking thing. <laughs> so, shelf two. Labradorite. This is, I, a lot of people are like, oh, I prefer rough stones, or I prefer polished stones, or whatever. Um, I'm the type of person where it really depends on the stone we're talking about. With this, I like it polished. And the reason for that is, like this side, you can still see some of that, like, cool shininess, but you really have to catch it in just the right way. Whereas with this, it's kind of shiny all over the place, and I just think it's gorgeous and awesome. 
I feel like you get a much better impression that way than you do if it's not polished. So it's one of the ones I like. This I got from, uh, if you know who Piper is, you're probably familiar with the Standing Stone. If you're not, you should check it out. They have some very cool things. And this was from, I believe, their opening night. They had a bunch of spirit quartz. And I was so excited when I got this. Because I, I had never really heard of or seen spirit quartz before. Like, I did not know that was a thing. And so I started seeing it on a couple of YouTube channels. And I was just like, where do you guys find this stuff? And then I saw it. So I was really, really excited. It's got one nice big crystal. And then all of these teeny tiny sparkly beautiful ones. And I just, I kind of like the overall shape of this too. Like, sort of feels like a boat. <laughs> I say a lot of really weird things. Why do I do this? Anyway, this is an ammonite fossil. Not only do I like rocks and minerals and gems and all these things, but I also really like fossils because I am strange that way. So, look, a teeny ammonite and a bigger ammonite. I don't know what that means. I think it means this is probably not actually, like, this is probably legit ammonite, and all of this was probably just cut. <laughs> That's my guess. Anyway, uh, I saw this. I don't know where I heard this from. I don't know if I saw this in town, or if I saw it on somebody's YouTube, or on, like, a website, or I don't know. But I had heard somebody say that blue and green kyanite together was like incredibly rare and only found at like one place in the world so far and like all this stuff so I saw this and it's blue and green kyanite and I was just like I have to get my hands on that that is really cool I would like to have some of that if it's rare like and it was at a fairly reasonable price and then I started noticing it like in town <laughs> like just in the rock shop here so I'm thinking someone who said that was mistaken or they're just mining the crap out of that one, like, deposit. So, something. Regardless. This is another one of those things I want to eat. This is probably, like, my top five favorite stones to use and work with. I love Amazonite. This really helps me with a lot of my anxiety problems. So I like to carry a piece of this around when I'm kind of having a bad day as far as that goes. And I have quite a few pieces of that, too, so... <laughs> um, I love emeralds. This is not jewelry-grade emerald, but it's got a nice little... Where is it? Right there. You can kind of see the green really well in this corner. Look at it. Yay! Anyway, I love, like, if I could pick a stone to have, like, for jewelry, like, expensive stones, I would pick emeralds and just like them the best. Like green, if you hadn't noticed. Anyway, a lot of people buy me petrified wood because they know I like rocks. So anytime someone like that I know goes out west, they come back and they're like, look where I got you. <laughs> so I have a lot of these. <laughs> so this is a pretty unique piece because most of the ones that I have are like tall and kind of fat. And yeah, this is nice because it's thin and flat and I can set things on it on my altar if I want. And it fits really nicely in my display case. So I like it. It has really nice color. This one... Oh, wait! No! That's... Okay, next video. I almost went on to the next shelf. So, there's one shelf... Wait, two shelves. Can I talk? Okay. There are six. We just went through two. I'm gonna do another video in just a second. I'm so sorry that I don't know words. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you're interested in the kind of thing you just saw, there will be two more coming after this, so stay tuned.